Let's take a look at our coordinate graphs review. The first question asks, which shape is at 0, 3? Okay, well keep in mind when you have that ordered pair, the first number or our x coordinate tells us how far to move left or right. And the second number or our y coordinate tells us how far to move up or down. So 0, 3 would be 0 left or right, meaning stay right in the center, and then 3 up, 1, 2, 3. So you can see, and of course we always count from 0, 0, which is where the x and y axis cross. So from here, if we stay center, up 1, 2, 3, we're going to land right on the square. What are the coordinates of the circle? Write your answer as whole numbers or decimals rounded to the nearest point 0.5. Okay, well the circle is my point right here, and it looks like the middle of that circle is right through the edge of the graph, so I should be able to give a whole number answer. Okay, well I want to write my answer as x then y. Remember, x is how far we're going to move left or right, so counting from my origin, it looks like it's 1, 2 to the right. Notice it's directly above the 2, so that means my first coordinate is 2, and then the second, or the y-coordinate, tells me how far it is up. Notice it's directly across from the 4. That means from the 2, I went up 1, 2, 3, 4. So my ordered pair should be 2, 4. What are the coordinates of the pentagon? Write your answer as a whole number or decimal rounded to the nearest point 0.5. All right, well keep in mind a pentagon means a figure with five sides. So it looks like this reddish figure has one, two, three, four, five sides. So that's what I'm trying to find the coordinates for. It does look like it's right through the corner of the grid if I take right the center of the pentagon. Okay, and to figure out what my ordered pair is, remember x, y, the first or x coordinate is how far it is to the right. And the second, or the y coordinate, is going to tell me how far it is up. Well, it looks like it's right above 6 on the x axis, which means my x coordinate should be 6, right? I counted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to the right. And it looks like it's right at a y coordinate of 9, right? If I read across. So that means from here I went up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my ordered pair would be 6, 9. Which point is at 7, 9? Okay, well 7, 9 tells us to move 7 to the right, or over to the 7 on the x-axis, and then up 9, or in line with the 9 on the y-axis. So I can see that puts me right at point K. Which point is at 3, 5? Okay, well 3, 5 means 3 to the right and up 5. So I'm going to go right 3 and up 5, right? So I'm in line with 3 on my x-axis and in line with 5 on the y-axis, and that would be point P. Which point is at 6, 3? Okay, well to plot 6, 3, I would have to go 6 to the right and up 3. So notice I'm in line with 6 on the x-axis and 3 on the y. That is point K. In which quadrant is the square? Okay, so let's think about this vocabulary word for, this, for a second. Quadrant is a quarter of the graph. We call this first quadrant, quadrant 1, where all your numbers are positive, right? Positive x and positive y. And then we go counterclockwise, meaning moving the opposite way of a clock, right? This way. So quadrant 2 is over here, where you have a negative x and a positive y. Then we have quadrant 3 over here, where both x and y are negative. And then finally, we have quadrant 4, where you have a positive x value and a negative y. And notice our quadrants are always written with Roman numerals. 
Okay, well, the square is in quadrant three. In which quadrant is the triangle? Okay, well, remember our quadrants are one, and then we go counterclockwise from there, two, three, and four. Since we're looking for the triangle, the triangle is in quadrant four. In which quadrant is the star? Okay, well, my star is in the first quadrant or quadrant one. Which point is in quadrant three? Okay, well, remember our quadrants go like this. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so for quadrant three, that would be this red point here. So it looks like it's one to the left and down two. Okay, so my ordered pair, one to the left, is an x coordinate of negative one and then down two puts me at a y coordinate of negative two. So that would be the point negative one, negative two. Now another way to do this is remember quadrant three is where both the x and the y coordinates are negative, right? We can see that all of these are gonna have negative x and negative y. So you also could scan through your answer choices and say which one has both coordinates that are negative. Either way, you get the point negative one, negative two.